Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of The Prediction Show on the Rugby Revolution in conjunction with Superbrew. Um, don't forget to join our leagues, the details of which are below. We've got a predictor league and a fantasy league. Still loads of time to get involved. You won't be at a disadvantage, so please uh, sign up. Right, so once again this weekend, it's all about the Six Nations, the second round. Um, starts over in Paris again, France taking on Ireland. I've picked Ireland by six on Superbrew. France did win last weekend against Italy, but only by two points. It was a very disjointed performance, um, lots of errors, not much structure. Ireland, structure is their buzzword. I think they'll have too much in Paris. They made seven line breaks against the Welsh, kind of evidence of a bit more of an open style of play. Um, so I think they'll be too strong for, for France. In terms of players to look for in your fancy team, um, France's Fijian uh, sevens player, Virimi Vakatawa, made 62 metres last weekend, crossed the whitewash for a try as well. He'd be an excellent pick. For Ireland, Connor Murray, he crossed the line for them. Um, he looks back to his best, sniping around the fringes, making his tackles, making his breaks. Should be some good points on offer there. Next up in Cardiff, we've got Wales hosting Scotland. I've gone for Wales by nine on Superbrew. Scotland last weekend were probably the biggest disappointment. They turned over their own ball 16 times. That is way too many. And the amount of times they did that in the opposition 22 was just baffling. Um, Wales didn't make a single line break, but you know they'll, they'll probably look to put the ball through their hands a bit more. They showed great composure to come back and draw against Ireland last weekend. At home, I think they'll be too strong. In terms of players to look at, Taulupe Falatao had a fantastic game, looking back to his best. Racked up the tackles, he made 19 in total, that's a huge number. Uh, crossed the line for a try. Johnny Gray, similarly for Scotland, is a guy that you should be looking at. Um, he often goes up in the line out, so he can win you points for stealing opposition ball there. He finished with 16 tackles against England, again a very impressive figure. The Six Nations weekend's rounded off in Rome then, where Italy hosts England. Um, I've picked England by 20 on Superbrew, quite a big margin. England weren't to, didn't play an open game against Scotland, but Eddie Jones has promised that that's going to change this weekend. He might change his team up a little bit. One Italian player, though, who you might look to put in your fantasy team is Michele Campagnaro. The centre made three line breaks last weekend against Italy, which is the most of the weekend. Um, for England, Jack Nowell was also on form, bagged another try. He's been in pretty hot form in that sense for England in his last few games. Racked up the metres as well, and if England do play that wider game that they've promised, then he should see plenty of ball. Right guys, thank you very much for watching. If you disagree with anything that I've said, which you probably will, do get involved with our leagues. You'll find all the details below the video. Um, if you've liked what you've seen, click here to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week.